Oh, lovely. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Josh. Thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, as it is such a beautiful day outside, I'm going to go out and do some photography. So it is mid-April, I think it's the 18th of April, and I love this time of year because it is when you get all of the uh, all of the flowers blossoming, the leaves coming on the trees, the blossom on the trees. It just symbolises growth, uh, and it's just lovely to see and to smell as well. Um, but I've never really captured anything um, or taken any photographs of it before. And some flower shots can just be really boring, it's just like there's a flower and it's often on the rule of thirds line to the left hand side, you've got green in the background, and it's not very interesting really. Um, so today I'm going to challenge myself, um, it is peak time for bluebells. Um, it is, yeah, they, they'll all be out blossoms by now, and I want to capture them before they start dying off. So there is a, a place that I'm travelling to. The, I'm going to go to the Arlington Bluebell Walk. Uh, now I've never been there before, I guess it's in Pondgate, Arlington, uh, Sussex Way. Um, it's a Bluebell Walk, so I'm hoping there's going to be lots of bluebells there. But I don't want to just get more, like boring shots, I'm going to challenge myself and just see what we can get. Kind of landscapes, but more focusing on the flowers themselves. It's a beautiful day, let's go. Just arrived here and arrived at the bluebell thing and I didn't know it was going to be as like commercial as what it was I thought it would just be a woods so that you could come and walk around but then there's a whole farm here um, there's like cafes restaurants stuff garden center even got an hour and a half and a little bit of time pressure um, to, to go I didn't want to go at like midday because that's when the sun's directly in the sky so you're not gonna get it's just gonna be very harsh kind of light um, so yeah, I wanted to come still kind of harsh, like three o'clock in the afternoon, but at least the sun's going to dip a bit, so you're going to get nice, you know, some more interesting, uh, interesting uh, lighting conditions, etc. And I've just got into the woods now, and the bluebells are fantastic, um, absolutely lovely. So we should be able to get some good images. I'm going to have a wander around and just see. Yeah, pick. I'm not going to be too slap happy, but I'm going to hopefully get some, uh, yeah, find some nice pictures. I've just seen um, quite a nice image. Um, I don't think it's something too special, but when I crouch down, it's like a little tunnel, and bluebells are just running right through. Fortunately, there's a couple of twigs in the way, and I can't get over to, to capture it, uh, to get rid of them, but I'm gonna take the image anyway, because I like the way it's shining off the trees. It's pretty nice, so um, yeah, it should be quite a nice picture, that. Uh, so I'm gonna snap that one, and then continue on my river. Well, I'm gonna head towards the river, that's the objective. So, I mean, I've put my camera settings, I've increased the aperture to um, f4, which for this lens, the 18-105 is the, is the kind of lowest it will go, uh, and then just increase my shutter speed a little bit. Um, I'm not interested in long exposure shots today, um, but it's, what I quite like was the trees, how they frame the image really nicely. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's another one in the bank. Okay, so I reached the uh, so-called river. I'm not gonna lie, 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of uh, disimpressed. Um, it's more like a little stream than a river. We've, not, we've had rain recently, so, but, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kind of, no, there's no real photo opportunity here. It's not exactly a glamorous river with large vistas by or anything. It's surrounded by hedgerows. So I'm gonna head back towards the woods and try and focus now on uh, getting a few more shots of the bluebells. any image ideas from here really. Um, I mean, yeah, it's an attraction, it's a lake, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna get a nice picture from it. Maybe if the light was, you know, a bit better, if it was sunset kind of time, you get some nice glows off the, uh, from the sky onto the river. But on this occasion, there's not really a picture here. However, up there, I don't know if you can see me, up there, you've got all of that yellow, I think it's rapeseed, with uh, this kind of abandoned building, and I think that could look really, really nice. Um, especially long exposure with the, the yellow kind of misting in the in foreground and that abandoned building there. Uh, there was one problem, I'm not allowed to go up there, but yeah, let's, let's just risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. So I'm just gonna quickly explain my shot. What you see now is kind of posed. Um, I kind of like just leading it out of the image. This kind of splits it and it's into layers as well. So I kind of focus mostly on building. And then you've got the uh, yellow rapeseed, which when I slow the shutter speed down, should just have a nice kind of motion blur to it. And then you've got the path underneath. So it's four kind of layers, well, three main layers with the building kind of, yeah, as a, as a kind of focal point. Oh, it's really nice. I'll be able to kind of increase the vibrance of the blue sky yellow and um, the, the kind of struggle I'm, I'm facing is getting enough uh, I've lowered my exposure to one second and that is just I'm finding it's just enough time to be able to capture the, the you know to get the kind of swaying uh, motion of the, of the rapeseed um, it's not quite as long as I wanted though but if I do it anymore I have to kind of increase my um, open up my aperture even more and then the kind of building stand out it just kind of gets a bit lost um, to help i've put my nd filter on again it's a six stop i can do with a 10 stop but i don't have one a top of 11 uh one one second uh timer shutter um, and then obviously iso is flat at 100 and it's, it's okay i'm happy with it i could just have just like a little bit more movement but i'm not going to get it uh, i need a better nd stop so anyway let me know, let me know what you think of the image can't see it right now so I'm, I'm in the way but there is a nice log there and then past that log there is literally just loads of really nice white uh, horn beams again it's about layers so you've got the grass beforehand then you've got the log and then you've got the white flowers and the way that the Sun is now kind of falling it's creating really nice kind of glowing orange light on the trees in the background um, yeah, it looks looks really really lovely. So um, again, it's not it's not a perfect composition. I'm, it, it's not kind of worked out. I wanted to be a bit more experimental with these pictures, and I don't know. I, I define experimental. I mean, I don't I'm not, I don't quite know what I was hoping for. Uh, I guess I was just trying to capture the, the kind of bluebells and the flowers in a way, rather than just pointing a camera at, at the top of it and, and taking a photo of the petals and stuff. And, I'm not sure if I have done that really. I've not had the time to be able to capture because I went off on that river walk. Um, but yeah have, a, yeah, have a look at the image, see what you think. That, that's probably going to be the last image now um, because I have run out of time. Uh, I think I might even be locked in the car park. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll make our way back and if something does catch her, I will we'll grab it. <laughs>